So another question is how to quickly scale an SEO business. Now I'm really against the whole quick route or, you know, three easy steps, that kind of thing, because I think a lot of that is kind of BS. It took me personally like a few years to be able to really correctly scale my SEO agency where it's now doing pretty well and bringing in clients and the lead generation sites handled the sales generation or sales processes handled the internal intake process is doing well and so is the implementation and the reporting but you have to get all those different things going correctly before you can really provide value to clients so i would say the first thing you want to focus on if you're running an agency or you want to scale a seo business is the first five steps which is again how are you getting clients right how are you getting clients and this comes down to really again what you're talking about in the previous question which is how are you streamlining your content on multiple platforms bringing people in for free and then remarketing to them if you didn't see that question make sure you head to the previous video and check that out the next part is how are you selling to clients and the way i do this is i do this through an audit and bring people in uh, I have my lead SEO do the audit since they're already trained up on how to do that. They even meet with the client and then sell to the client based on supply and demand. So if, for instance, I start out, let's say, with $1,000 retainers for, let's say, 10 hours, then what's going to end up happening is if those sell out, meaning I have too many people coming in at that price and not enough people to work at that rate, uh, or to be able to fulfill all those hours, what I'll end up, do, end up doing is then start selling 10 hours at 1500 and then higher and higher, right? So 10 hours at, uh, you know, 2000. I'm not going to go above uh, 200 an hour for any type of SEO service unless it's like maybe something national or something that's a lot more uh, difficult. But I think that people, that an SEO agency can easily make a uh, very high ROI by paying their client or their workers well with a um, anywhere between 150 to 200 dollar budget and even a hundred dollar budget if you give your workers 30 percent of that still uh, as you know a growing business starting out 30 dollars an hour to pay an seo implementer to help you is still pretty reasonable um, again you want to shoot for higher than that at a certain point but when you're scaling a business and you know other people are gonna be working with you and they know it's startup mode that's still i think pretty reasonable but again as you start selling higher retainers then you can start increasing the percentages at which you pay your workers as well because you are making more money and everybody should be winning in your agency right so it's also about paying people what they deserve to get paid based on the type of work they're doing if they're doing all of the work for you, all the implementation, you're just doing a little bit quality control and checking in on the clients, that kind of thing, communicating with them. It's not a big deal to take, let's say, 30 to 40 percent of the project and give it to that person because uh, then your net profit is still pretty high. Uh, considering that the overhead in the SEO industry isn't extremely high unless you keep hiring more and more people, which is another thing that you want to think about when you are at the end of this uh, scaling your agency, you want to think about uh, what you're actually doing to continue hire pe hiring people, expanding your SEO services, and continually providing new value and continual value to existing and potential clients. But anyways, how are you selling to clients? Super important. These two steps I have a course on. If you check out my website, chasehunter.com, you can see the How to Get SEO Clients course, and then you can go ahead and sort of see how I do these things. Um, it's a little bit outdated. I need to relaunch it, but um, still some important information in there for only like 200 bucks or whatever the course is. Um, so next, you got the how to get clients, how to sell to clients. Again, you want to templatize this stuff as much as possible. <clears throat> sell based on supply and demand. Then you want to think about how are you intaking the clients. So again, once you have a client, how are you bringing them in and streamlining the process of doing all the implementation? Um, you have a couple steps here. <clears throat> The first step is you want to figure out how to build a solid foundation for them. And the way you do that is you focus on technical errors, major issues first, like um, server errors, uh, page you know, load times, uh, things that are going to really make or break a SEO strategy like indexation, um, you know, duplicate content issues, all these kind of things that if you can fix those first, you're generally going to see an analytics graph go like this all the way to straight take off. And that's happened to multiple clients uh, for me as well. And just doing that alone will keep SEO clients uh, 
with you for a very long time. I have one client that we actually uh, took a bunch of duplicate duplicate content, a bunch of um, uh, indexation that was completely off. They were indexing like thousands of pages that they didn't need to. We fixed all that within a month and their analytics just shot up, shot up and they've been with us for like a year at, at like a $3,000 retainer. And they even upgraded their retainer from 1500 to 3000 uh, because they wanted more work from us. So uh, again, bringing people in and figuring out the most important issues first, that's what's gonna really help your um, SEO strategy and your marketing strategy. Uh, the other thing is, um, you know, making sure there's conversion tracking so you can show value to the clients. All the basics first, right? If you're if you're going in and you're saying, hey, the first thing we need to do is focus on alt tags, you're doing it wrong, okay? Um, alt tags, stuff that are ranking factors is gonna be helpful, but you don't wanna focus on the things that are gonna give you like a 1% boost, especially um, unless you're really good at outreach and that's all you do is link building, do not focus on link building first. I do not recommend that. I have never done that in my life. And I've been able to consistently keep clients for a long time and make a good amount of money off of it. So the next thing is after you're taking clients, how do you streamline the process, right? So it's all about, about streamlining. How do you streamline the process? Um, the best way to do this is to really train up a solid lead SEO to start, um, you know, controlling the different projects and also hopefully having some support SEOs for that person to help them do some more of the manual stuff. Um, again, some of the things that we do is benchmarking, <clears throat> keyword mapping, keyword research based on competitor analysis, and then just competitor analysis in general. Keyword research based on competitor analysis. Um, all that stuff, if you have no idea what any of that means, basically what we're doing is we're, we're figuring out what their current stats are based on Google Analytics, Search Console, uh, for their current keywords and their current pages, and then we optimize based off data instead of based off um, just like theoretical sort of, oh, is this a ranking factor this month? Uh, and again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about here, just go to my SEO roadmap on my website. I think if you Google SEO audit template, it should show up on the first page. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward once you see how it works. It takes a little bit to see how the conditional formatting and everything works. But um, basically at a certain point, you're just optimizing based off greens and reds and based off the most important pages first. And then you're building out new content based on uh, keyword analysis and uh, perhaps building out content on other related platforms based on how the competitors are performing. Uh, the next part would be sort of the um, reporting and creating uh, additional or, you know, uh, additional uh, tips, I would say, to help them. Uh, whenever you're doing reporting, you don't want to just say, oh, it looks like we're doing good. And then, you know, that's it. You want to say, looks like we're doing good, but this is the stuff we want to focus on more of and always giving people sort of another game plan, showing them what you want to do each month. If they're paying you money, there's no reason why you can't get um, some uh, extra time to put into figuring out what needs to also be done for them in the next month and be as transparent as possible. So through all of this, as long as you can be extremely transparent, that's what people care the most about. Most SEO companies are not transparent. They don't tell you what they're doing. They just go and do content or optimize alt tags or whatever they're doing. And then they send you an SEO report at the end of the month with a few keywords that went up or down. Um, you wanna really make sure that people that you're hiring can tell you what they're doing in a transparent way and what they're saying makes sense. It's not just a bunch of BS garbage that, you know, anybody could figure out after reading like a one backlinko post on how to do keyword research. So uh, again, five biggest things here, getting clients, selling clients, intaking clients, streamlining the process and reporting. Once you get those five things down, then it's going to go into scaling, um, which is what we're talking about. And in, in terms of scaling, um, you know, if you can do all these things, scaling is going to come naturally. After that, it's really just about how you hyper grow that with your own marketing. And that's the step where most people don't even get to, which is how to grow your own business um, versus how to grow other people's businesses. It's always funny when people are like, oh, I want to get more traffic or I want to get uh, how, learn how to rank on Google. Most of these people think that they're working for themselves in a sense, but the thing is, is they're all working for clients and they're not actually growing their own business. So you need to get to a, a point where you can streamline enough things that you can work on your own business. 
<clears throat> so that's how you quickly scale an SEO business. Not easy and it's not quick by any means, but it's quicker than you know most people uh, get to because a lot of people don't even get to the part where they're actually scaling correctly at least.